This is Collection THX 1138. Today I'd like to share with you my original vintage 1975 $6 million man board game by Parker Brothers. The overall objective of the game is to be the first bionic man to complete four assignments. And then spin the spinner to get five or more and be the first player to reach the bionic research lab to prove yourself to be the true six million dollar man everybody else is maskatron or the six hundred dollar man assignment one reads the six million dollar man is sent into space to rescue a stranded astronaut for NASA and the end space is called splashdown assignment area two CIA tries to prevent a nuclear blackmail attempt with the help of the six million dollar man Lee Majors assignment two ends with repairs made on leg and breaking through a brick wall as only the bionic man could do assignment three reads the office of Interpol uses the six million dollar man to knock out an international crime ring this week on the six million dollar man fittingly enough assignment number three ends with breakthrough wall to escape Finally, assignment four. In red scuba diving gear, he is trapped in a net. But the six million dollar man is used by the Defense Department to locate an underwater missile network. Culminating in assignment completed. Where he can return to the bionic research lab. In his traditional red tracksuit. Each of the four flavored text assignments is shown on the box top. In abbreviated form, Lee Majors rescues a stranded astronaut. Mr. Fair Fawcett Majors, Steve Austin, prevents nuclear blackmail attempt. The Incredible Hulk, Steve Austin, knocks out international crime ring. And Jacques Cousteau, Steve Austin, locates underwater missile network and also locates the Loch Ness Monster with Leonard Nimoy on In Search Of. Now that's incredible. Before you begin play, you want to remove this computer spinner is what they call it. It has a heavy box that's the same orange color as the back of the board. You can hold it in your hand, ironically, like a mobile device. And spin the spinner. This has a piece of metal so it stays put. You don't have to put tape on the back of it. Now what's interesting is that when you store it, you store the tokens in there. And then when you play the game, you take this deck of cards, which are all power cards. We'll take a look at why. Steve Austin is on one side. This really cool power logo is on the other. Everyone will use them. And you put that in there. For solo gameplay to keep things straight, I use these alien board game astronaut tokens to tell who has which hand. Then I use the alien to tell me whose turn it is. It works out pretty well. For movement, you spin the spinner. You move exactly six spaces on that spin. And blue ended up on a power space. He gets one power card to add to his hand. And now he has three. If green rolls the six, he ends up on the same space as the blue bionic man. He doesn't collect a power card but we have what we call a bionic battle. Green spins the computer spinner first, gets a two. Blue gets a one, so green has won the bionic battle. He moves two spaces forward, one, two, and blue stays where he's at. Furthermore, blue loses one card to green. Now green has three. That helps Green because he landed on an incident space that's pretty common around the board. It has flavor text, secure faulty hatch. The instructions are always lose one turn or two cards, so he has a choice. If he doesn't want to give up two cards, he loses a turn. And in solo gameplay, I tap them so I know that they lose a turn. Whenever you make a choice to play cards, you have to have at least one left in your hand. So Green chooses to play those two power cards so he does not lose a turn. And he returns them to the deck. 
Let's say yellow eventually lands on this green space. That means on his next turn, he spins and he moves backwards. For demonstration purposes, let's say he has to move back one. He has a bionic battle to resolve with red bionic man. If he moved back two on the spinner, he would gain a power card. He would move forward on his next turn, regardless of where he ends up. If he landed on the blue space, it's a neutral space and nothing happens. He spins his next turn and moves forward. For your bionic man to get to the end of the assignment space, you do not have to land by exact count. You will stay there until your next turn. It's possible to have all four bionic men on that space at the same time without penalty and without having to fight a bionic battle. So you have to spin a five or six to move on to the next assignment. In this case, it's assignment number two. If you fail to spin a five or a six, you have to stay on that space until your next turn and every turn thereafter until you spin a five or a six. You could potentially have been in the lead and get left behind, obviously with a bionic malfunction. There's a space on the board that says bionic malfunction restart at assignment two, in which case you would go back to start. That can even happen if you're on the arrow space and spin and land on that space you would have to move back to start assignment number two. You can also use power cards for movement. One power card equals one space. It's a good idea to save them for assignment four. Let's say Red Bionic Man had six cards in his hand. If he uses cards he needs to have one power card in his hand so he sets that one aside and he has five power cards to use for movement. He moves five spaces and he lands on a power card space. So he keeps one power card and in effect he used four power cards to move five spaces and he returns those to the deck. Once again it's possible to have more than one bionic man on the final assignment end space where everyone has to spin a five or more on his turn as he reveals himself to be the true six million dollar man by returning to the bionic research lab. One interesting note about gameplay is that the game I played the other day Red got stuck on assignment 2 when everyone else completed assignment 4. He spun a 4 1, 2, 3, 4 three times in a row so he had to move back 4 without incident spun another four and then on his next turn had to move back again where he lost one turn because he did not have enough power cards so that's a good overview on how to play and win the six million dollar man game by Parker Brothers as a bonus here's a look at my six million dollar man action figure collection it includes Steve Austin the bionic man Maskatron with his Steve Austin mask. Here's one side of the instruction sheet for Maskatron. Steve Austin knocking his head off. There's Oscar Goldman and his exploding briefcase. And here's two pages of the catalog featuring the Bionic Woman and Jamie Summers fashion collection. Check out my playlist of Star Wars and other collectibles. Please subscribe and click send me updates so you don't miss another interesting video. Once again, thanks for watching.